What's up, everybody? This is Sam Heine coming at you live with this week's opportunity that you should be taking advantage of in the Louisville real estate market. So it's been a wild and wacky year out there so far. I think everybody can probably agree on that. It's been a whirlwind of emotions. Um, and a lot of that wild and wacky nature has trickled down into the real estate market. And there's opportunities on the selling side and the buying side right now. Um, and I want to break those down for you right now, mostly the buying side in this video. But I'm going to break down some of the selling side and parlay that into the buying opportunities as well. So it's a rampant seller's market right now. There's less houses on the market selling than there are buyers buying. Um, which is leading to 5 to 15% spikes in uh, sales prices that sellers are able to sell their houses for, which is a great opportunity um, you know, for anybody that's thinking about selling out there. Just by putting your house on the market, um, you know, it's really uh, things are working to your advantage. So anybody that's been thinking about it, it's still a great time to sell. Um, it's a great opportunity for buyers too because the interest rates are at historic lows. So, I mean, they're down so much at this point from six to 12 months ago, I mean, we're talking about thousands of dollars saved over a, a 15 to 30 year mortgage. You know, so a real opportunity to save some money, it puts you all of a sudden into a different price bracket, you know, a different kind of house that you couldn't afford altogether, um, could really save you some potential money altogether um, on a 15 to 30 year mortgage. So uh, for anybody that is a home owner out there, um, now could be a great time to refinance as well. You know, a lot of opportunity on both ends of that fence. So uh, a lot of opportunity out there, folks. So coronavirus is scary, but real estate is still hot. You know, so as you can imagine, the updated and more remodeled houses are flying off the shelves right now. You know, that's why people remodel houses is to create a beautiful living space that they wanna live in, they're excited to live in, it's modern, um, but also there's a great resale value. And that's exactly why people get the remodels done is for that boosted resale value. And that's what especially you see in a seller's market like we're seeing right now. Um, people are seeing an absolute premium for those types of houses, especially in the Highlands, St. Matthews, Germantown, those really hot areas are really all over town with the shortage of houses on the market and, and the surplus of buyers with those interest rates, um, you're seeing those houses fly off the shelves even more. Um, so it's a really, really great opportunity to sell. And if you're thinking about selling, maybe examining what, what you could get done before you sell. You know, maybe it's remodeling a kitchen or taking a wall out in between the dining room and the kitchen to open that space up and make it a little bit more open and airy. You know, um, right now in a hot seller's market like this, if you're updating these homes before you sell, there's a good chance that you're gonna make a good chunk of that remodeling cost back um, in the price that you sell the house for. The unfortunate reality behind a strong seller's market is that buyers tend to overpay for the houses that they're buying, right? You know, I mean, if you find a great house in the Highlands that you really love, um, and you decide to put an offer in on it, chances are right now there's gonna be five to 10 other offers on the same table. Um, so it turns into a bidding war, prices get jacked up, and if you wanna come out on top of that bidding war, you're gonna to have to pay a premium for that house, which, by the way, is fine if it's your dream area, if you really have a good feeling about that house and its potential for raising your family. Um, you know, a, a, a lot of times you can't really put a price on quality of life. So um, a lot of times that's a good spend. But in a lot of ways, there's a better way to do it right now. And where I'm seeing a lot of opportunity are the houses that um, have a few projects involved, right? So, you know, let's say you walk in the front door and um, the kitchen's a little bit small, right? But maybe you could take out the wall in between the kitchen and the dining room and open that space up a little bit, make it a little bit more open and airy, um, infuse that living space in with the cooking space and eating space, the entertaining space. Maybe it needs an extra bathroom that could really boost that resale value. Um, that doesn't make it quite as appealing. You know, maybe adding a master bathroom in upstairs could do a, could do a world of good. Um, you know, so there's a good chance that you can get those types of houses under market value um, for a nice little discount um, and then you're adding value as you as you remodel right so maybe you add the master bathroom or you add the bathroom downstairs all of a sudden you get that boost in resale value from that you're making back a piece of that remodeling cost but then also like I said um, real estate tends to appreciate over time naturally so five to ten years down the road it's just gonna keep going up and up the mountain um, so that's three ways that you're building equity right there 
Um, really a pretty perfect little storm to potentially cash out, make a nice little chunk of dough, but also create your perfect living space um, over your, uh, your, your time frame that you're living there. So just as an example of what I mean here, um, there, was just a, there was just a house that I was helping a buyer with um, a couple of weeks ago. She's moving here into Louisville from out of town. Um, she's got a couple of kids, one baby on the way, um, and a husband, and she's looking for a great house to move to. She values the great outdoors, the park systems, being close to those, farmers markets, coffee shops, bakeries, and so we honed in on the Upper Highlands, the, uh, the Deer Park neighborhood specifically um, to, uh, to really try and find her the perfect home. And so we found one that's really great. Um, you know, it uh, was over in there, just a, just a couple of blocks from Doug of Flew. And, um, you know, just a great facade, really looked great. I mean, it looked, had really great curb appeal, but you walk in the house and it smelled like smoke, smelled like somebody had been smoking in there for years. It was a little bit outdated. The kitchen was really well updated, but the upstairs, it was like walking into the 1940s, right? Um, the hall bathroom was very small and tight. It kind of looked like you were on like a like an old ship, like an old ship's bathroom, um, if an old ship would have a bathroom. Um, so that needed a facelift. Um, there was a big, nice size master bath or bedroom, but there was no bathroom. Um, and so there was an opportunity there to add potentially um, a master bathroom, to steal some of that square footage off of the excess um, square footage in the master bedroom and turn it into a master bathroom. Um, get rid of that smoky smell um, and just kind of clean it up a little bit, right? And so we kind of started breaking down the numbers. We were going to submit at uh, about thirty to forty-five thousand under what they were asking, simply because it wasn't worth what they were asking with uh, the updates and you know the money that you'd have to put into it to really get it to that level that they were asking for. Um, and so we were going to offer them thirty to forty-five thousand dollars. I brought a contractor friend in that quoted out updating the hallway bathroom, remodeling that hallway bathroom, adding on the master bathroom, um, and getting rid of that smoke smell, fumigating that. And uh, it came out to about $75,000. And so we're going in, and let's just say we got it for 30,000 under market value. Um, you put 75,000 in, and so you're 45 over market value as it, as it would stand. But then by updating the, the hallway bathroom, you're adding a bathroom. And so with, for that example, I mean, you're, you're essentially in a, in a market like the Upper Highlands, you're basically making your money back on that. But via the comps I pulled, um, you, could, you could probably turn around and sell that for, um, for an excess of what you bought it for, plus the remodel costs, which is a complete win. Especially if they're gonna be living there for five years, you know, um, real estate, like I said, it's gonna appreciate over time. Um, and so, you know, whatever, whatever the natural waves of the market bumps up to in five years, you tag that onto um, the sales price as well. So you're talking about a nice little chunk of change just by making the alterations yourself, seeing the vision in the house that, you know, was a little bit outdated um, and rolling your sleeves up negotiating and getting it for the right price that makes sense uh, for the remodel costs and what you could sell it for in the future. Well, hey folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I know there's a lot of moving parts to anything like this and a lot of houses that need um, updates, a lot of houses that have updates can be a can of worms. And a lot of times you don't uh, get at that can of worms until you really roll your sleeves up and dig into it. I would love to help you dig into that. I've got uh, friends in the contractor uh, building trades that um, you know come and help me out at, at houses all the time to help break down opportunities and ways to reimagine a space. Um, and I'd be help, happy to help you break any of those opportunities down if this sounds like something that could be interesting for you in your uh, journey to buy a home or sell a home. So uh, just give me a call anytime. My number is 502-500-6469. Uh, and my email is sam at familyrealty.com. Um, I'd be happy to help at any time, always around. So uh, thanks, guys. Hope to talk to you soon.